Last week we left the boat to check out the lively Istanbul. This week we head to Cappadocia and we are amazed by unique rock formations, a magical hot air balloon ride immersed in the colour of hundreds of other balloons. It's just incredible. I'd... We're back! Yay! So we are off to Cappadocia today. Off to Ataturk Airport via the metro just over there. Are you excited? Yes, of course. We've got two metros to catch this morning. We're in Taksim and we're heading to Yeni Kapu. And then to Antuk Airport. Yeah, that's it. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. First day at Cappadocia. Yeah. What's your opinion? Um, I really like it. I like being out of the city again. Seeing as we've been in there for a bit, it's nice to get out into nature again. And we did a bit of walking this morning, a bit of exploring, and Jace came across some chickens, and so we had to stop for a beer with them. <laughs> we did plan to go further, but they're cheap beers, three dollar beers and uh, an amazing view, so I'll quickly show you the view. So it's pretty damn amazing. Got the snow, snow in the mountains in behind. So it's pretty special. Um, and we've also got some pretty cool chickens just hanging with us. Feathers on your feet. No? Come to the top of Cappadocia and Trace has happened to find more shops. What are the chances? Probably pretty high. <laughs> the scenery in Cappadocia was spectacular and we were very excited to take to the skies and check it out from a hot air balloon the next day. We woke early to be fed breakfast before dawn and I particularly enjoyed the bus trip watching all the huge balloons get prepared in the dark whilst listening to Turkish music. Everyone was super excited, and even more so when our balloon came into view.
Yeah, so cool. Um, you know, no one's been up in a couple of weeks, so there's so many balloons, which is awesome. Landing face. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> Success. We're down. Good land. <laughs> All right, what did you think? That was amazing. I'm so happy I did it. Unreal. So many balloons in the sky. I don't know, it was just a perfect day. Yeah, really perfect day. There's still everyone, all the balloons are coming in now as ours deflates in behind, but yeah, cracker. Absolute, Amazing. absolutely worth it. Yeah. Best thing? One of the best things I've ever done, yeah. yeah. Sure. You ready for a champers? Yeah. My fingers are so cold. <laughs> It didn't feel cold up there though, did it? No, it was, no, it was good because you had the, I guess the, the gas and hot air getting pumped in every few minutes. So yeah. Up in two weeks, so there was so many, so many balloons. So mm. that's why there's too much fog or snow or different things. So yeah. Very lucky Ma for what four days. So if we were, yeah, if we missed out, you'd be you'd be devo. Yeah. One, two. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. hey, we're off for a hike, um, didn't bring the best hiking here, we only decided while we are in East Istanbul that we were going to come here, so, but we are off to Red Valley, you might be able to see it in the distance, and Rosé Valley. Um, Rosé Valley, you think? Not Rose Valley? Rose. <laughs> Maybe I'm Rose. Red, <laughs> red wine and Rosé. <laughs> I think there's wineries over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Um, but yeah, we're heading that way, and um, I reckon it's going to be pretty cool today. We're going to see a lot. So let's do it. Cool caves. Yeah, can I go in? Yeah, let's go. The reason for this unique landscape is due to an ancient volcanic eruption that blanketed this area with ash, which then solidified into soft rock. 
The wind and water then shape the landscape into the unusual shaped valleys, pinnacles, fairy chimneys and cones. Thousands of years ago, people took advantage of the soft rock and carved out homes, places of worship and stables. Some of the dwellings still serve as homes and hotels to this day. Yeah, we don't really know how to get to the top. There's so many little caves to get up there, but um, I'm let's... a bit scared going up there, considering how easy the rock crumbles. Yeah, and we've been eating out a bit. <laughs> This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone under the knife. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Red Valley in the Rose Valley and the cool thing about it is that you can just walk there's no real paths there's a couple of little paths but they don't really tell you where to go and you just walk around and wherever you look you see really cool structures and nice colors and um, yeah I'd, I'd really recommend it it's hmm. awesome there's so. even a cafe out here but nobody there well the the kettle was it was on hmm. but there was no one to be seen so it was a bit weird but um, it's just incredible I for the record I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable right. for the record you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you right. for the record lab on me going all the way, all the way. for the record ain't trying to link no time to wish for the record Trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me. We're back! Yay! And we're leaving Monday, hopefully. As long as the weather stays how it is. Very excited! Sun in the sky, sun in the sky.